All right, developers, we need to have a chat about these coding boot camps. I thought they had peaked around 2016, maybe 2014. Between 2014 and 2016 seem to be the glory years, the golden years for these boot camps. They're making a comeback. And unfortunately, everything's not rainbows and roses and puppy dogs. There are more horror stories, more people saying I got totally ripped off, people out 20, 30 grand. Now, to be fair, this is a small sampling of coding bootcamp worth it results. And honestly, it's a pretty good mix of people in the pro bootcamp category, the neutral bootcamp category, and then the people who had absolutely terrible experiences. So some interesting viewing if you're so inclined. However, the bigger point of this video is to remind you to please do your research before enrolling in these bootcamps because they're gonna take your money and not care. Now, I am not anti-bootcamp. In fact, I have an article on Medium where I interviewed four developers who attended various coding bootcamps. There are some very good first-person experiences shared in this article from a guy named Daniel, Sarah, we also have Jameson, and finally, Brittany. Brittany Starr, Hack Reactor. Some, some pretty prominent boot camps here featured. My main thing is developer education. I'm not anti-bootcamp, I'm pro-education. And when I see people not getting educated at an educational facility, it is kind of triggering. Because this is this is this is my thing, you know? So I want I want these boot camps to deliver and and give you the experience you need to get a dang job. <sighs> now this was in May. This is over at TechCrunch. Three students sue coding bootcamp Lambda School alleging false advertising and financial shenanigans. Now, when you see this word, you know it's serious. There are some shenanigans going on. Now, basically, there were four uh, different allegations. Uh, the suits which are being brought by the nonprofit National Student Legal Defense Network on behalf of Ling Nguyen, Heather Nye, and Jonathan Stickra go back to a period between 2018 and 2020. And they focus on four basic claims. First, that Lambda School falsified and misrepresented job placement rates. Second, that Lambda School misrepresented the true nature of its financial interest in student success. Specifically, there are question marks over how Lambda handles its ISA contracts and whether it benefits from those. Third, that it misrepresented and concealed a regulatory dispute in California that required the school to cease operations. And fourth, that it enrolled and provided educational services and signed ISA contracts in violation of that order. We see things like this. These are not encouraging stories. And I will remind you that most coding boot camps are for profit. So when you meet with the admissions director, you're actually meeting with a sales representative. Now, as someone who has attended for-profit schools, I never actually attended a coding boot camp. I applied to a few back in the day, but found Udemy.com and Colt Steele's Web Development Boot Camp, which served my needs just fine. But I have attended for-profit schools, and they serve stakeholders, they serve their investors. That's all I'll say on that. Now, let me show you a few bits of feedback, um, some negative feedback that I saw on YouTube while perusing some coding bootcamp videos. Coding bootcamp, oops, coding bootcamp sect. Pyramid scheme vibes, a f bleeping dumpster fire. I tried to apply for one and ended up receiving over 20 calls and emails every day to listen to the sales pitch for the program. Anything that is that desperate seems very scammy. My partner paid just under 3K and wasn't even worth giving it out for free. Ooh. I learned much more on Udemy or YouTube than I do on their curriculum, but I'm going to complete the bootcamp anyway since I paid for it. Bootcamp that shall remain nameless very much is a predator. These are real statements from people throughout YouTube, and I'm sure you can find many more. And this isn't meant to scare people or say all boot camps are bad. I'm just saying, ask some questions. 
Now, it just so happens on my blog, I published this 24 questions to ask any prospective coding bootcamp. It's an infographic. I made it nice and pretty for people who like pretty pictures like myself. I find it much easier to read. Get in Forbes so you don't have an expensive regret. Different categories of questions here. Prove that this bootcamp isn't a $15,000 Udemy course. These are questions you should be asking your admissions representative, that salesperson. Their job is to answer your questions. So don't be afraid to ask them questions. Guys, if you're going to pay 10, 20, 30 K for an education, you have a right to ask them some questions about your coding journey at their facility. Prove that your bootcamp cares about my success. Can I meet one of your instructors? What's your graduation rate? Can I talk with the graduate of the program I'm interested in? Prove that this bootcamp respects my time and personal obligations. Prove that I can afford your bootcamp. Prove that this bootcamp will help me land a developer job after I graduate because that's why we're going to bootcamps, right? We want jobs. And finally, the last category, the last section here, prove that your boot camp isn't a filming location for the next nightmare on Elm Street. Going through some of these videos on YouTube, some of these people were on Elm Street when they went to coding boot camp. And really, at the end of the day, that's what I'm trying to get people out of, get, get you off of Elm Street or 21 Jump Street if you go to a coding boot camp. We also interviewed Sarah the Dev. She had a a, a very negative experience at a coding boot camp. So very different perspectives here between these two articles. I also have to kind of flip it a little. I interviewed Curtis. Okay, he is the curriculum director, or excuse me, he's the VP of academics at App Academy. But this is a great interview. Okay, I interviewed this guy, I asked him some, in my opinion, some pretty good questions. Check out that. Uh, their App Academy Open curriculum is totally free. So there's an option right there. Also interviewed this guy named Dom. He's been to six coding boot camps. That was a super fun interview. So what I'm saying is, TL, I watched, but please tell me the summary. I'd be happy to. Just try and get educated. Do your due diligence. Do the best you can do and ask those questions. I'm going to include this infographic in the description of this video. Also, the Sarah the Dev interview, she has some really good insights here. Also, the medium.com article where I interview four developers who went to boot camps and they had some very diverse experiences. And again, this is all intended to just get you a little more educated and give you some additional perspectives because developers, I'm hearing more and more stories about people saying this bootcamp was a scam. It sucked. I'm out 20K. That's a lot of money, even with hyperinflation. So I hope this video was a little bit illuminating. Let me know your thoughts on coding boot camps. Like I said, I'm not anti boot camp. I'm not necessarily pro boot camp either. I'm pro education. And there are boot camps out there that have great reputations. Um, and maybe those are for you. Maybe they're not. Um, but you do have options and you do have alternatives. So I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.